noticing a spike in Disney related videos here on YouTube. I ain't complaining. All I'm saying is none of y'all turkeys love Disney more than me. I just can't be up on here every week talking about Tangled and Brave. That's gonna hurt my street cred. I'd be going to the cypher. I can't be in the middle of a freestyle battle and have these dudes clowning on me. Let me tell you all the kind of cast member I was. I'd work my eight hour shift at Disney, clock out, and hang out at the park for the rest of the day until the park closes. By myself. Fuck I go hard Fuck in the and I do miss working at Disney, I'm not gonna lie. However, comma, there's some things I don't miss. For example, I don't miss how everybody and their mom will be hitting me up asking for free tickets. Be getting phone calls at 6 o'clock in the morning like, Hey bud, I'm gonna need you to meet me at the gate tomorrow. I need about 15 passes. Uh, who is this? <laughs> it's me, Charlie. Remember that time I gave you gum in school at one time? Anyways, I was driving by a playground and I saw these kids and I was like, Hey, who wants to go to Disney? I know a guy. I don't even know any of these kids. So if you could just meet us tomorrow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Emilio, put down that knife. I knew I shouldn't have let you guys watch Fight Club. Adane, let me call you back. But something else I missed, I missed cast member relationship drama. You know how many Disney employees would only date other employees? Like I'm sure you guys have heard friends make a pact like, okay, if I'm single and you're single and we both turn 30, we're just gonna get married, okay? At Disney, here's how it goes. If I'm single and you're single in, mm, I don't know, 30 seconds, yeah? We should date, if, if, ready? I can't even wait that long. I've already changed my Facebook status, it's a fish. It's Facebook a fish. If you're a straight single guy, Working at the Disney parks, you have like a 98% chance of getting a girlfriend if you get hired. Here's why. A number of really good looking guys around you don't even like girls. That eliminates a lot of competition right there. And after that, there's only really two other types of straight guys left at Disney. They're the regular straight guys. And then you have the extra happy straight guys. They usually carry around a fanny pack, just in case they have to time travel back to 1998. They go to the park with their Kylo Ren doll and they push it around in a little stroller. And they're really concerned about trading pins. There's nothing wrong with these guys. It's just they're not really concerned with getting a girlfriend. So I said you have a 98% chance, but in reality, that's like a 3000% chance you have of getting a girl because there's virtually no competition, which kind of confused me because I had no girls and I was not that guy. There was one thing that happened to me at Disney. I'm sure this has happened to some of you guys. You have coworkers that actually don't put forward that much energy, or maybe they put forward the same or even less, but they're the ones getting rewarded. So if you do anything and you like exceed expectations, you get what they call a fanatic card. Everybody would get fanatic cards except for me. There was one kid in the college program who was literally breaking rules and getting fanatic cards. Be talking to the manager like, man, you remember them cheerleaders that came through last weekend? Yeah, of, of course. How can I not? Of course I do. I got one of their phone numbers. That's great. Oh my God, that's amazing. I went back to one of their hotel rooms. Uh, you're saying yes to a guest request. I made out with her too. Oh, what? Actually, I made out with two of them. You're just showing that you're a team player. That's what I love about you. You work well with others. I, you know, when I left their hotel room, I stole their purse. Gee willikers, you're going above and beyond the Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They had $100 in it too. I bought some crack with it. That's, that's it, that's it. I'm giving you a Fanatic card. So one day, I just got bored. I wasn't even trying to get a Fanatic card, right? Disney put this temporary beach ball kiosk next to Indiana Jones. And the guy that was running it was actually my boy, Renee. So I got this idea. I went over to Renee. I'm like, Renee, let me borrow one of these beach balls, son. He's in one of the big beach balls. And I walk into the theater and I tell everybody, hey guys, is it cool if I pack everybody's section? Now everyone at Epic hates packing the theater when you gotta get down front and yell out in front of everybody Hey guys, can you scoot in? Fill in all available space! Everybody hates doing that. I even hated doing that. So I get the speech ball and go down front. Everyone, I need y'all to do me a huge favor. If you guys all scoot in over here, I'll do a backflip off of this rail. Everybody scoots in. I get up, do a backflip. Yeah! This is a three-man job. I packed everybody's section. Over 2,200 people. By myself. Fuck I go hard Fuck in the pa -pa paint. Fuck then once everybody was packed in, since you guys have been so awesome, guess what? We finna party! And I break out the beach ball and I throw it into the crowd and everybody's going crazy with the beach ball. EDM music festival up in this piece. Steve Aoki shows up and starts throwing cake. The managers got wind of this. I started doing this for every show. You could tell on their face, they hated the idea that I was having so much fun. I wish you would come down here and say something. I wish you would, but you can't. 
And not only that, after each show, Renee has a line around the block of people trying to buy beach balls. Get on my level! This happened every weekend for three weeks in a row. You think I got a Fnatic card for this? Nah. The managers were so salty. They were making it so obvious they didn't want me to get a Fnatic card. Renee got a Fnatic card for selling so many beach balls. They started handing Fnatic cards out to the guests in line who don't even work here. You know what? Fluff it. Two tears in a bucket. One weekend, I go in there, I pack the theater, bust out the beach ball, and then one of the AV techs walks over to me, and he's like, uh, hey, uh, what's your name tag say? Ad 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 Adeline? You can't be giving them the beach ball. Oh yeah? Why not? Uh, see, we, we get the tech booth, right? It's right up, look right at it, see right over there? We got buttons and pyrotechnics and, uh, pyrotechnics. Can't have the balls flying in there, and it might push a button, might blow some stuff up. Uh, yeah, I can't take the ball away right now because these guys are waiting for the bass drop. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, okay, I, how, I, I, here's an idea. How about I stand on the perimeter outside the tech booth, and then as soon as the ball comes close, stop! Stiff arm! Just knock it away. Because, I mean, the ball weighs 0 0.5 negative ounces anyway, so even if it landed in there, it wouldn't press any buttons. Listen, Adele. No. No. And after they shut down all my fun, they went right back to rewarding everybody else. Oh! 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 Look at Steven! Look at him! He's role-playing with the guests. He's not role-playing. He's Captain Hook, the little boy is Peter Pan, and the little boy stabbed him with an imaginary sword, and now he's, look at him, he's role-playing, he's playing dead. The little kid pretended to stab him two hours ago. There's flies buzzing around his mouth. He's over there taking a nap. Stop hating, hater. Steven, get up. Come back to the office with me, let me give you a Fnatic card. Adana, look at him. He doesn't even want to break character for a Fnatic card. Steven, okay, you know what, Steven? You just stay right here, I don't want to mess with your mojo. I'll go to the office, I'll come back with like 15 Fnatic cards. Who are you guys? Vancouver! 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 It's going down.